my name is Chantelle Jones. I grew up in Richmond, Virginia, and I currently live in Canberra, Australia, all the way across the other side of the world. I currently work in human resources for a real estate company, but I've also started a few side jobs of my own as well. I grew up playing soccer and I played professionally for five years. Um, so I've started a coaching business here in Australia and I've also started a uh, soccer recruiting business. So what I do is I find Australian soccer players who want to play um, in college in America and I help them make that dream a reality. I'm very proud of what I do. I'm very in love with soccer still to this day and really happy that I get to do that as well as my full-time job in human resources. So now what I'm going to do is answer a few of these questions for you. All right, question one. What motivates you to do what you do? Um, I've always been a driven person. Playing professional soccer has enabled me to be very dedicated to what I do. Um, and what motivates me every day, especially in the HR field, is helping people. I love making people happy. I love helping people through hard times. And as a coach, I really enjoy making young players better and helping people achieve their dreams. All right. Question two. Tell us a story of the educational and or professional path that got you where you are today. Um, so my path is a bit different than most people. Uh, playing professional soccer, I attended Clover Hill High School in Midlothian, Virginia. And then I went on to play soccer at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Uh, from then, I really always wanted to play pro soccer. So I went over to play in Iceland and I played there as well as Australia and in America. Um, I ended up in Australia from playing football or soccer, as you would know it as. Um, and then from there, I kickstarted my career in real estate. I never thought I'd end up in real estate. It kind of just fell on me. Um, but it was a really rewarding career to be there. Um, and then I've gone back to soccer by doing these two side businesses and recruiting and coaching. Um, I'm really, really interested in continuing that and making that my full-time role um, because I don't play anymore. I really want to get back to the game. Um, and give back to people like they've given to me. What is one career mistake that has taught you a lesson? All right, so one career mistake that has taught me a lesson, I wouldn't call it a mistake um, in that sense, but when I first started my career in real estate, I was a property manager. So what that means is I help people who are renting properties. So they don't own them, they only rent them and they pay rent to a landlord who is the person who owns the property. So as a property manager, I manage that connection between the tenant who's renting and the landlord who owns the property. Um, it's a very challenging job, as you can imagine, dealing with both sides of the fence. Um, but one thing I think I made a mistake in is because it's a high, high stress job, I let that get to me quite a bit personally. Um, and it's really important to remember in business and in work that it is just a job. Um, it is something that, that pays your bills and pays your mortgage and you need to look at it as a business and not take things so personally sometimes. So that was a bit hard for me to, to understand and to learn, but over time I got a lot better at that and I was able to do my job a lot more effectively because I wasn't letting it get to me personally. What impresses you when you're considering hiring someone? All right, so this is right up my alley. Um, in HR, one of my main roles is to help other facets of the company hire new employees. Um, a really important thing when you're applying for a job um, is to have a good resume. That's the first thing they're gonna see about you is your resume. So make sure there's no grammatical errors. It's nice and tidy. It's not too long. Um, when you're looking at 100 applications, you don't wanna read one, one resume that goes 10 pages, unless you've been in the workforce for 50 years and you have a lot to say. Um, another thing is when you do go for your interview, get there early, look good, look professional, make sure you put an effort into your appearance because that's your first uh, physical um, impression on, on your employer. Um, and also when you're giving examples of your skills, make sure you give a real life example of something that you've done um, to show that you're organized or to show that you're a team player because that goes a long way when you're interviewing someone. Okay, what did you choose? Why did you choose to make our community home? Well, now that I live in Australia, um, I've, I've gone a long way away from Central Virginia, but that will always be my home. Um, my parents moved me to uh, Richmond when I was in third grade. 
um, and I spent most of my life there before um, traveling overseas to play professional soccer. Um, I love Virginia. I love Richmond specifically. I loved going to school there. I'm a very proud Clover Hill High School alum. Um, played soccer there and we went to the state championship finals. I have so many good memories from there and still keep in touch with a lot of people I went to high school with. Um, and I just love it there and it's a good place to, to grow up. It's a good place to go to school. Um, I stayed in Virginia going to UVA, great school. I'm very proud to be a WHO um, and cheer on all of our sports teams to this day, watching the NCAA championship from last year for our men's basketball team. Um, so I'm just a very proud Virginian and I always will be. What are some local business leaders you look up to and why? Um, so being so far removed from Virginia, um, there is one local or fellow high school alum that I went to um, Clover Hill with that is doing really, really great things in the business world. She was actually our class valedictorian and president, Liz Letchford. She is doing fantastic things in, in the physio field with ACLs and um, wellness and mindfulness, and she's just fantastic. She's made a really great name for herself, um, has partnered with some really good brands, and is just doing amazing work. So I would definitely recommend looking her up. Um, and another one would be um, on the sports side as well, um, Chris Gores. He is a strength and conditioning coach that I had while I played pro soccer in Washington, D.C. for the Washington Spirit. Um, he was solely responsible for keeping us all in one piece during the season. And he has since moved down to Richmond and has his whole um, academy there where he coaches kids um, in strength and conditioning to excel their game to the next level. So Chris Gores um, is fantastic and he does a great, great work in Richmond with a lot of local athletes as well. So I would definitely look him up um, if you're a sports person. So I would like to challenge Lindsay Biggs. Lindsay Biggs was a Manchester High School and Virginia Tech basketball star. Um, she still lives in Richmond. She does great photography work um, and she's a good friend of mine. So I challenge you, Lindsay, um, step up to the plate and make a video. Another person I will challenge is Chris, um, Chris Gores, who I mentioned earlier. He does great work and I really want to see what he can do with this. So Chris, you're up. 